rock. It was... I might be back late. Products run. The shelves were scattered with things ranging. It was a group of claw hammers. I picked one up. I might be back later. Take care. Hey, you think you can just walk out with that? I'm so sorry. It was an honest mistake. It was a group of claw hammers. I picked one up. You want the armor? I need pain. Hey, here's payment for the hammer. Thank you kindly, young man. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Sorry? Oh, I... I collect rocks. Huh. I'd managed to break a little chunk of rock off. I decided to keep it. Perhaps this would distract the officer's attention. I hid behind the trees. Who was that? I had no idea why. I couldn't help but wonder. Hey! What the Sorry? Huh. I'd managed to break. Perhaps this. I hid behind. Who was that? The beach was quite... A couple of... The beach was quite... I had no... I couldn't help... Hey! Sorry? Huh. I'd managed to... A rock. A couple of sunbeds. Perhaps this would distract the officer's attention. I hid behind the trees. Who was that? A couple of... Hi. None of your business, son. The officer was clear. 
I had n I couldn't help but wonder. Hey! Sorry? Huh. I'd managed. Perhaps this I had Who was that? I couldn't see. The beach. Hey! Sorry? Huh. I'd managed. Perhaps this I hit. Who was that? I used the cane to reach it. I got it. Oh my god. It was Jody's necklace. Maybe I'll catch you. Yeah, he. Me. Yeah, he would. I showed Jody's necklace to Michelle. What's this? This is Jody's necklace that I found on the beach near the crime scene. Whoa, Pete, you do know you're interfering with evidence, right? Shit, I didn't think of it like that. This detective Mancini's gonna really come down on you if he catches you with that. You need to be careful. This whole situation is getting messy, quickly. I have an idea. I'm game. Listen, I'll come to your hotel, tonight. Um, yeah, great. Listen, you really don't need to be getting involved with this. And I don't really want to be the headline for your next story. I may be a journalist, but I'm not a bitch. Well, not all the time, anyhow. <sighs> How the hell have I got myself into this situation? We'll sort this, Petey boy. Petey boy? It seemed the right thing to say at the time. Sorry. Okay, I'll meet you tonight. Thanks, Michelle. You can thank me when this is all over. Also take this, it's my card. My number's on the back should you need to contact me in the meantime. Great, thanks. For now, just keep your head down and your hands clean. And if I were you, I'd go and put Jody's necklace somewhere safe. Seriously. Stealing crime scene evidence. Tut tut. Okay, okay. Stop it. I get it. I messed up. I'll see you tonight. I fail to see. I fail to see. That wouldn't do any. I couldn't see. Hey, Mr. Vine, hold up. Hey, everything okay? Oh, hell yeah. Everything's great after what I've just overheard in the restaurant between you and the hottie. I'm not quite sure what you're on about, kid. Hey, Mr. Vine. Don't be like that. 
Look, what's your name? Glenn, Mr. Vine. Okay, look, Glenn. I don't know what you think you heard back there, but just forget about it, okay? Mr. Vine, have you ever felt like you're stuck in a dead-end job? I'm not really sure where you're going with this. Well, I have, you know. And I'm ready for some fun, for some adventure. Adventure? What are you talking about, mate? Well, surely you're going to have to go and explore that island over there, right? You know, clear your name and that. I want to go with you. Clear my name? I don't need to clear my name. I don't need this right now. You must have misheard what we were talking about. I didn't mishear the fittest so that the necklace you've got from the latest missing lady is police evidence. What do you want from me? Are you blackmailing me? Do you want money? No, mate. I just... I don't know. I just want a bit of fun, you know? I just want something exciting to happen. I'd have thought there was enough excitement around here, what with the missing tourists. You see? You've noticed something strange too. All I want is to come with you. Come with me where? To the island over there. I heard you both mention it, and I know myself there's something strange going on there. You may be right, but I'm not going on an adventure, and I'm not looking for fun. This stuff is serious, Glenn. Oh, I know that, Mr. Vine. Good. How old are you, Glenn? 18? 19? I'm 17, sir. Okay, well, look. You just stay in your job, stay safe, and look after yourself, okay? I'll probably bump into you again at some point. But get these silly ideas about going off on crazy adventures out of your head. Deal? <sighs> Deal, Mr. Vine. My name's not... My name's not Mr. Vine. My name's Peter Taylor. But your membership card. I'll see you around, Glenn. I figured I'd best hide Jody's necklace. Getting caught with this in my possession would no doubt end badly for me. Well, well, well. Listen, detective. This is not what it looks like. I found this on the beach. I didn't know it was evidence from a crime scene. You can tell me all about this down at the police station. But you think that I... Peter Taylor? I'm arresting you for the abduction of Jody Johnson. No, wait. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. All I could do was lay in my cell. I wasn't even allowed my one phone call. I honestly had no idea how it could possibly get any worse. And then, something happened outside the cell window that chilled me to the bone. The cell window, where that blood-curdling sound came from last night. My very A small sink. I couldn't help but notice the irony in it being ap 
a second prison bed. I'd hate to be locked. Mancini, you can't keep me locked up in here. Let me out. Keep it down, Taylor. Listening closely, I could hear the sound of water. That wouldn't do any. The cell window. I couldn't see. That wouldn't do. I failed to see. That wouldn't do any. I couldn't see. I failed. To Michelle's press card. It I couldn't see how that wouldn't do. that wouldn't do it. That wouldn't. I couldn't see. I couldn't see. I failed. I couldn't see. Mancini, keep it down. pipe was belting out some heat, so it must be red hot. I failed to... The pipe was belt... I couldn't see... I failed to see... I failed to Mancini keep it down Mancini Jesus Christ you're locked up for a goddamn reason what the hell do you want Okay, Taylor, just what the hell do you want? I needed to call Michelle. I needed to call Michelle. She was my- I'm entitled to a phone call, and you know it. While you're here, you play by my rules. Please, can I just make one phone call? You're not gonna quit, are you, Taylor? The law's the law, and you know it. You've got two minutes. Make it quick. Hello? Michelle? Oh, thank Christ. Pete, where the hell have you been? Are you okay? I came to your hotel the other night like we agreed, but you weren't there. I'm okay. Well, no, I'm not. Mancini arrested me more or less after I left you that day. He caught me with Jodie's necklace, and he thinks that I had something to do with her disappearance. Shit. So you're locked up? Yeah, I'm loving it. At least your incarceration hasn't won over your sarcastic attitude. I'm sorry. I just need to get out of here, and Mancini's convinced that I'm guilty. That's because you are guilty. You hear that? Yeah, I heard the prick. Are you still not wanting to investigate the island? Are you still wanting your relaxing vacation? 
I know, I know. I just need to get to the bottom of this and clear my name. I need to get to that island. Hold on, Peter boy. I'm on my way. The filing cabinets looked full to the brim of case files. Looking at the notice board, I began to feel sick. What the hell had I gotten myself into here? Are we done now, Taylor? Did we make our little phone call? Yeah. Then let's get you back in your cozy cell. Psst. Hey. Petey boy. Wow. Talk about fast. I don't miss about. What's the plan? I was hoping you'd know. I'm all out of ideas. I'm stuck in here, Michelle. There's a fair amount of missing posters in the main area. Kids, Michelle. Some of them are kids. What's going on here? Jesus. I honestly have no idea, Pete. It's something bad. That I do know. Last night, I heard the sound of what can only be described as a woman getting eaten alive. Seriously. It seemed to be coming from that damn island out to sea. But that island's at least two miles out to sea. Trust me, that's where it was coming from. And you're still wanting to go there? Damn right I do. Something's not right, and I need to clear my name. Look at you go! This isn't funny, Michelle. People are going missing. More than likely killed. We need to get to the bottom of this, and fast. I know. I was only teasing. I apologise. So again, what do we do from here? The only thing I can suggest is to maybe go and try to distract Mancini so you can get the cell door keys. Just how the hell am I supposed to do that? I have no idea. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Come on, Lois Lane. This is right up your street. <sighs> well, here goes. Listen, Mary. I'm not letting you walk out there until you've sobered up, okay? <gasps> but, but I want a drink. Where's my drink? I've got your wine in the filing cabinet. For now, you're staying here, okay? It's for the best, Mary. Tosser. Now, now. Let's not start that again. That's exactly how you ended up here in the first place. I had to find a way to get Peter out of that cell. The woman was very... Those must have been the missing photos that Peter was talking about. Don't touch that! According to Mancini, this is where he was keeping Mary's bottle of wine. The telephone. The desk is probably where Mancini was keeping the cell keys. Those must have been the... The woman was... Psst. Pete, I think I have an idea. I'm all ears. I need you to cause a distraction first. Get Mancini over to your cell door so I can get the keys from his desk. Okay, but be subtle about it, Michelle. If Mancini sees you, you're... Fucked! That, yeah. Ready? Let's do this. Hey! Mancini! I need the bathroom! Sorry, Taylor. No can do. Maybe I'll just go and piss myself right here in the cell. Don't you dare! You better not be pissing in your cell, Taylor. Now's my chance. No. Damn, the keys weren't here. Yeah, you are looking for the keys, ain't ya? <laughs> it's so obvious. He carries them in his back. Pocket. If you want me to help you get them, I need a favour. And what might that be? He's hidden my wine in that filing cabinet over there. If you can get me my wine, I'll get you the keys. Mary, you've got yourself a deal. Don't push me, Taylor. Psst. 
I think I, I need you to work your magic again. Let's do this. Hey, Mancini! Maybe I'll just go and pick- Don't you- You'd better not be pissing in your cell, Taylor. Now's my chance. I grab Mary's bottle of wine. Hey, Mary. Here's your wine. Good. Girl. Now you leave this to me. Hey, Brick. Watch your mouth, Mary. Make me, fat boy. Right. That's it. You had your chance, Mary. You're stopping the night in a cell. I hope Mary had managed to somehow get the keys from Mancini. I warned you, Mary, and don't say I didn't. Take some time to sober up. Frick! Mary over there should have the key to the cell. Wait, how... Don't ask questions, Petey boy. Go and ask her for the key. Love is like candy on a string. Dun, 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 um, dun. Hi, Mary. Hi there yourself, handsome. Yeah, um, Michelle says that you have. The cell. <gasps> Key, I do indeed. Here you go. And if you don't mind me saying, I think that young lady over there has a <gasps> the thing for you. How many women do you know who'd go to these extremes for someone? I, um... Exactly. Remember what I said. I, um, I will. Thanks, Mary. Love is like candy on a string. Dun, 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 dun. There was no way to open the... The cell window where that blood... Here, Michelle, take the cell key. I can't open it from this side. I can't exactly walk through the police station in front of Mancini and open the cell door, can I? Hmm. Let me think. Got it. Call Mancini and tell him there's been a... Oh. I don't know. Uh, a rape. Jesus Christ, Pete. A rape? Are you serious? Yeah. That's a bit extreme. Um... It's okay. I get it. I'll phone him to report a crime to get him out of there. Leave it to me. Come on, Michelle. You can do this. Yeah! Come on, Michelle! Yeah. Thanks, Mary. I could hear Mancini taking the bait. Now it sounded like he was leaving. Michelle's tactic had worked. Ha-ha! <laughs> good work, Michelle. Good work indeed. Do you think it was a good idea letting Mary out there? She can't even stand up straight. Probably not, but the girl helped save you, so I figured she deserved it. That's true. I just hope she'll be okay. Anyhow, let's get out of here before Mancini gets back. So go on then. I'm sorry? What was the reason you gave Mancini on the phone? You'd said there'd been a rape, didn't you? Well, here we go. Let's find a way to that island and end this once and for all. We certainly picked good weather for it. The yacht was now bobbing frantically in the waves. I wouldn't like to take my chances on that in this weather. There was nothing against... The 
door was locked. Looking at that island, I could feel a kind of... The restaurant must have been closed. Oh my god, Pete, look! Shit. That's the copper was on the beach the other day. What the hell has happened to him? Hey, Pete, check this out. I noticed that wheelchair before. No, look, there's there's something underneath it. Like what? I don't know, but it it looks like a trapdoor. A trapdoor? What the hell? Here, give me a hand to move this wheelchair. Where do you think this leads? I'll give you three guesses, Pete Boy. I think it leads to that island over there. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Before we go down there... Yeah? I just want to tell you... Spit it out? I... um... I just wanted to say, be careful. You too, Pete Boy. You too. Okay. I am now, yeah. Wow, that took some climbing down. Well, there's only one way forward, I guess. Lead the way, Petey boy. How long do you reckon this goes on for? For a while, I'm guessing. If this tunnel leads to that island, then we're in for a bit of a journey. Just think, we're God knows how many deep under the ocean right now. Michelle and I walked for what felt like hours. Eventually, there was literally a light at the end of the tunnel. I'll tell you what, Michelle. I'm glad to be out of there. Ditto. What a walk. Well, we're here. I don't know what we're supposed to do now, though. We explore. I'm glad that storm stopped. Hey, Mr. Vine! 
Glenn? Please don't be angry. What the hell are you doing here? I was in the restaurant. I just closed up and I saw you both walking around in the storm and I thought, hey up, something's not right here. I couldn't resist. I wanted to know what you were both up to. How scary is that tunnel? You're the waiter who served me the other day. That I am. This is crazy. Do you know how dangerous this is? You need to head back now. Oh, no way, mate. I'm here for the long haul now. This is just what I've been wanting. Good old adventure. I don't think you understand the seriousness of this, Glenn. I understand, Mr. Vine. I just... Taylor. Peter Taylor. <sighs> just... Just tag along and don't do anything stupid. We don't know what's going on here, and the last thing we want is for anybody to get hurt, okay? You've got it, Mr. Vi... M Mr. Taylor. <sighs> I still... At initial glance, these seemed to be a collection of normal-looking rocks. But no, something wasn't right about them. They seemed to react to touch. This is... this is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this before. seem to react to touch. I couldn't see what that would achieve. I failed to see The tunnel from the beach. We weren't heading back in there yet. You wanting to head back? I'll be honest, I'd like to. Michelle, look. 
It seems to be some kind of concealed entrance. If only we knew how to get it open. There must be some kind of way in. We need to keep looking. The rocks seem to react to touch. Couldn't see. I couldn't see. The rocks seemed to react to touch. As I touched the final rock, something began to happen. was that? I don't like this, Pete. I'm like, really having second thoughts about following you guys now? Jesus! The entrance to the cave, and the home of that... thing. Wait! Where's Glenn gone? Shit, I don't know. Glenn! We're going to have to go back there. We can't leave him here. You're right. Let's find him. The entrance to the cave. Glenn must have gone into the cave. Or he was taken. We need to find him. Take a deep breath, Michelle. We're heading in. What the? Peter, where are we? Somewhere we don't belong, Michelle. Michelle, what the hell's going on? Why is Mancini here? I have no idea. Why are they kneeling like that? Pillars scattered the chamber. I couldn't see... Peter! Michelle! Run! Get away! What are you doing here, Mancini? I was taken when I left the police station. Peter, my friend. Friend? 
You may not believe this, but I've been looking after you. I've known something's not been right with Linos for years now. I've been protecting holidaymakers such as yourself from falling foul of this evil. This is why I put you in that cell. What? Why didn't you just tell me what was going on? Because I needed to get to the bottom of this, and I didn't know what was going on. Where is that thing? I don't know. He'll be back soon, though. Glenn, are you okay? I'll be honest. I've been better. Why don't you both come down from that ledge? Why are you kneeling? Because it's coming back. It's coming back to kill us all. To make a sacrifice. A sacrifice? That's why people have been disappearing. This thing's been taking them and killing them as a sacrifice. As a sacrifice to what? Your guess is as good as mine, Peter. Just run. Run now! you bastard! Michelle, we have to do something now! Pillars scattered. That wouldn't... That wouldn't do. That thing's going to kill... That column looks weak. Michelle, we've no time to lose. Begin pushing that pillar with all your might. It's crumbling at the base. We can push this on top of that thing. Push! Ah! Ah, come on! Ah! We're doing it! We're doing it! I... I can't, Peter! Yes, you can! We can do this! It's going to fall! Shit! That didn't work! Mr. Vine! Michelle! Go! Save yourselves! But, Glenn! There's no time! Just go! Peter, he's right. We've tried. We need to get out of here now! Michelle! Go! Now! Not without you! Go! Glenn! Just go! It's right behind us! Do something! Come on, you crazy bastard! I've got something for you! You crazy bastard! I've got something for you! See ya. Finally, 
it was all over. I still don't know what the hell just happened. Me neither, but we're still here. We made it. We didn't all make it. Who'd have thought Mancini was one of the good guys? Yeah, I didn't see that coming. There was still no reason to treat me like he did, though. I wish Glenn hadn't followed us. Me too. Poor, naive little guy. Mr. Vine! Glenn! How? What? I managed to get away from it and hid. Oh, Glenn, what are you like? We thought you were dead. <laughs> no way. It'll take a lot more than that to stop me, Michelle. I'm glad you're okay, mate. Me too, Peter. Right, I better get back to work. The boss will be wondering where I am. Are you serious? After what we've just been through, you're going to go back to work and act as if nothing's wrong? Hey, this is the island of Linos. Us locals are good at acting like nothing's happened around here. Take care, guys. Yeah. Bye, Glenn. Wow, what a guy. <laughs> so, Michelle, what happens now? What happens now? You tell me, Petey boy. You tell me. And that is how I met my wife. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah.